Sorry guys, I got a phone call and I had to take it because you know when business calls, business calls. You know what I mean? Jelly beans. Okay. so excited to bring you guys this video it's been a good minute since I uploaded for you guys so let's just hop into this video don't want to give too much don't want to say too much probably will in another video like why I haven't been posting and whatnot anyways but before we continue on with this video I want to quickly introduce myself for anybody that is new here my name is Cindy Flores and here on my channel I share my kidney transplant journey as well as travel vlogs lifestyle videos workout videos and so much more so if you are new definitely consider subscribing now let's begin everyone So since I started my channel and I have been transplanted, you guys have seen my journey and I always get asked a ton of questions. So we're gonna answer the most frequent questions that I get here on my channel. So the number one question or one of the questions that I frequently get asked is what medications am I currently taking? So in the beginning when I first got my transplant, I was on a ton of medications. I'll link the video down in the descriptions as well as a card note right here so you guys can click on it if you guys wanna see. But it has changed a lot. As you get further into your transplant, they will begin to decrease your medication. I remember I was doing 20 milligrams of prednisone post-transplant, but now I'm currently on 5 milligrams of prednisone. I also take 750 milligrams of microfidelate, which is Salcept, in other words. And I take that 750 in the morning, 750 at night. So what is that? A total of 1,500 a day uh, milligrams. And then I also take my monthly infusion, which is Belatacept. Belatacept is given to me intravenously. I had to go to the infusion clinic, and I receive that once a month. Um, I take Belatacept as a replacement for Prograf since I am allergic to Prograf. And the time that I did take it, it caused me to have seizures. So everybody's different. I do not do good on Prograf. So Celsep, I'm sorry. So Belatacept is the replacement for me. So those are my three medications. I am supposed to take a blood pressure, which is Carvedilol. However, I'm not gonna lie, I have ran out and I haven't had a refill, but my blood pressure thankfully has been in normal range. So those are the medications. We got the prednisone, the Celsep, the Latisep, and then supposed to be taking an IV, I mean, supposed to be taking a blood pressure medication. Also, I do wanna mention that I do take vitamins as well. I take collagen pills, which is basically to keep you youthful, also good for your hair and your nails. Um, I get them like from Costco. Super simple. You take six of those a day and you're good to go. Um, and I do it mostly like for my skin as well to keep the like vibrant and like the youthful look. Our next question, how soon after transplant can I work out? You guys ask me this basically almost every day. <laughs> so after transplant, me personally, I started to work out. I want to say two months after but I was doing walks so start out with walks and then a slowly increase I would start to jog a little here and there and then slowly my jog turned into run so about three months post transplant I was doing full-on like runs um, and I was running like about six miles a day I was really like 
pushing it. However, I did not do any abdominal workout um, until I was six months post transplant. So I highly recommend that you wait six months before doing any like heavy lifting or any abdominal workout because you can hurt your kidney if you start working out or push your body a little too soon. And um, I remember six months specifically because I have a kidney binder that they did give us prior to being transplanted, which basically has a rundown of a whole bunch of rules and do's and don'ts. And I remember I did see that no abdominal workouts like six months after transplant. So definitely recommend go on walks if you wanna get your steps in, if you wanna work out walks and then slowly increase to jogs and, and then do weights about six months post don't exhort your body too much next question what is my creatinine so since transplant my creatinine has been 0 0.8 to 1 so it's been between those ranges but it usually stays on the lower side at 0 0.8 this can change if you dehydrate yourself or really do not take care of your transplant obviously you're going to cause your increase um, in creatinine because like the stress and the overwhelming feeling of everything our next question how can I get swelling down so after transplant I was really like swollen around my abdominal area now I'm fine like I look pretty proportional like my swelling has gone down completely but it does take time it takes a good year for it to like go down fully and I've said this many times in my videos that like it's gonna be a little overwhelming because you're not used to like all that belly like the the what is it called the swelling in that area but it will go down eventually things that you can do to help yourself is do some walks like get some exercise in as well as try natural diuretics like parsley is one of my favorites celery juice like those are all really good those greens will really help the swelling go down and it will pull out any extra fluid around that abdominal abdominal area that you do not like need in your body next question how long does it take to get a kidney transplant so this varies it all depends if you have a living donor or a deceased donor in my case i had a living donor i was only on dialysis for two and a half years um, my cousin Heidi donated which i'm super grateful for um, so i was able to get off dialysis and get my transplant right away in the case of a deceased donor it is going to take longer it takes an average of six to eight years all depending as well as your state that you're in your age your situation that all is counter like all is taken into um into consideration i have seen people that have been on the wait list for like three months and they're all of a sudden getting a kidney transplant but it also has to do a lot with their age they're usually younger so they're a little bit more prioritized on the list and i also have seen people on a wait list for 10 years um so it really all depends in your situation but the average is six to eight years um so yeah it does take time i encourage everybody to really look for a living donor there's so many misconceptions that i had and i wasn't really trying to get a, a transplant um, because I was worried about the medications. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to maintain it and so forth But it's really not as bad dialysis is a hundred times harder So I encourage you if you are thinking to get a transplant definitely do it Next question. What does your diet consist of? So my diet consists of basically anything except I try to stay away from like raw foods too much processed foods salty foods um, what else do, 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 do. heavy meats I feel like for me heavy meats really affects me or like maybe it's like something mental but I just don't want to put my body through too much red meat um, or things that I feel like are gonna overwork my my kidney so I try to eat mostly like chicken fish um, fruits and vegetables really help me um, I try to stay away from like sugary foods but I'm not gonna lie my body goes through these phases where I just want to eat, eat, eat chocolate. Um, and I'm currently on a phase right now. It's bad. It's bad. But then I, I can like pull away and I won't eat chocolate for like a couple months. And then I fall into that. So it's a cycle. Um, and uh, I just encourage you, if you're really trying to like take care and preserve your kidney, to definitely just drink a lot of water. Stay hydrated. This is super important for the lifespan of your kidney. Make sure you're avoiding salty foods, too much processed foods. Fried foods can also um, be very harmful for you as well. So those are all the questions that I have for you guys. If I did not answer your question, please leave them down in the comments below. I will respond to every comment that I get. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys have any video requests, please as well let me know. Thank you guys so much. Have a blessed and a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone.